Today I'm eating Cole Palmer's favourite post-match meal. So Cole, what is your favourite post-match meal? Salt of chicken. Rice. Not salt and pepper chips. It's too much salt. You know chippy chips? They have to be them chips, I yeah, don't yeah, get yeah. them. A curry sauce. It's noodles. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I am starving, so I'm gonna be munching this whilst I answer your questions. Now I'm going to run through the quick ones first and these are ones that a lot of people have asked or they're just quick for me to answer. Then we'll dive into the juicy ones in a little bit. So how old am I? I am 24 years young. How many tattoos do I have? The answer is 13. What's my favourite colour? Now this changes on a regular basis but at the minute it's blue. Is there someone in the picture? <laughs> what picture? <laughs> But no, I am very single and not ready to mingle if I'm honest. I do not go out of my way looking for things like this. I'm not on dating apps. I hate the idea of forcing something like that. I genuinely believe that the right person will walk into my life when they're supposed to. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. I'm not gonna, I'm not going out of my way looking for it. Salt and pepper chicken. How old are your cats? So Biscuit is like, I'm gonna insert pictures of them here and here. Biscuit is like 10 years old now. He is an old man and he is a grumpy old man at that. And Nelly is just under three years old. So she's about to turn three and she's still a baby. I literally still see her as a kitten. Like she is still so tiny and she will always be my baby. So yeah. Am I happy? Yes, I am probably the most happy that I have ever been in my adult life right now. Very mindful, very healed, very happy. Yes, I am. Um, I am happy. When did you start supporting Chelsea? When I was a kid, my mum's ex used to have the football on every single weekend, like Sky Sports, Match of the Day, all the football, like all the time. And I used to watch it with him all weekend. And this was, this must have been like 2005, 2006. So I was only like five, six years old. I remember watching Drogba play and I loved this guy. Like, I'm not even joking. I remember getting the like, those like Panini sticker books, like the football ones. And every time I'd always be looking for Drogba or like the World Cup one, it would be flicking to the Ivory Coast page and wanting their team just because Drogba's on it. So to begin with, it wasn't really that I was supporting Chelsea, it was more that I was supporting Drogba. I would literally watch him and it just got to a point, I was like, I might as well support Chelsea, I support Drogba, so yeah. And then since then I supported Chelsea and here we are. Guys, I haven't put salt and vinegar on my chips and I'm so mad. I literally put on the notes as well, please, 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 can I have some salt and vinegar on the chips? Because they are renowned. I don't know what it is. Whenever you order fish and chips, they seem not to put salt and vinegar on and I don't know why. What colour have you dyed your hair before and will you do it again? Now, I have dyed my hair so many colours. From the age of about 16 to 19, I didn't have my natural hair colour once. I must have dyed it so many times. I'll insert pictures on the screen of all of the different hair colours I've been. But no, I wouldn't dye my hair again currently because bleach, one, damages your hair. And two, because I have alopecia, I don't want to risk it and I'd rather keep my hair in as healthy a condition as possible. However, I have contemplated having highlights put through it or having like the ends done so that it's not like my whole head, but I'm not too sure. I, I kind of um and it and then like decide against it every single time. So we'll see, maybe maybe in the future, but right now I just don't really want to put bleach or anything on my hair. Have I lived anywhere outside of the UK? No, I haven't, but I speak about it all the time on stream. I would love to move to Barcelona or to be honest, anywhere in Spain. Like that is my ultimate goal at the minute is I want to be in a comfortable enough position to be able to move to Barcelona or at least go to Barcelona for like three months of the year while it's cold here because winter in the UK is so miserable and I just cannot handle it. And it's still quite mild in Spain in winter. Like I've been November, December time and it was still like 15, 16 degrees, which is perfect. What's my favorite team outside of the UK? Whenever anybody asks me this question, I always just say Barcelona purely because like I literally just said, I am trying to manifest that being my local club. <laughs> so yeah, Barcelona purely because I just want to move there. 
What's one thing that makes me happy? The sun. I am literally like a plant. Like I know my name's Daisy, but I actually act like a daisy. Like when the sun's out, I'm great. I thrive. When the sun's not out, I am not thriving. I am literally wilting into my bed, just miserable. I hate it. I need the sun in my life. Other little things that make me happy is my cats and Chelsea winning. What do you think of Tottenham? Shit. What do we think of shit? Tottenham. <laughs> I'm gonna dig into the chow mein because I finished with everything that's on my plate. Who is your favourite Chelsea player? I would be lying if I didn't say it was Cole Palmer, I'm not gonna lie. Guy is absolutely incredible, like he is possibly one of the best players in the world right now. It is just outstanding. Now that is the end of this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see me do videos like this again, let me know in the comments and I will try and find out some other footballers' favourite foods. But thank you so much for watching this video and making it this far if you have. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!